Welcome back everyone. If you could please like and subscribe, I would really appreciate it. So in today's video, I'm gonna answer a frequently asked question here on YouTube and on my Instagram, which is how much space do I need for a studio? So I'm gonna conduct a test today shooting full body portraits and as a bonus, a seated full body portrait. The first one will be standing uh, with our model Christian. And just so you know, he is six foot two or 1.87 meters tall. Now, a few caveats. I'm gonna give you the distance from the model to the camera. Now, what you need to consider is, are you gonna have your model right next to the background? So a lot of the time, I have about four feet between the model and the background. And the reason for that is so that the light from my main light will fall off enough so that the background will be um, darker and it won't have a shadow falling on it. Now this isn't always true, but it's true most of the time. So about 1.2 meters or uh, four feet back there. Then I've got that gap between the model and the camera and then I need some room on the other side to work. So just keep that in mind as we're looking at these results. While using the 50 millimeter lens, I need it to be 11 feet or 3.3 meters away from the model. Normally, I would have my camera fairly low to the ground, but in this instance, I had to raise it up a little bit because if I was down low, the top of the background was sort of intersecting the top of his head. Now that background is back there or the top of it is sitting back there at about seven and a half feet or two meters or a little bit more than two meters, maybe 2.2 meters off of the ground. I'll put the actual conversion on the screen. Sorry, I can't do it in my head at the moment. So with the 70 millimeter lens, I need it to be 15 feet or 4.5 meters away from the model. In this instance, I could have lowered the camera, but I just didn't. And so sorry, just keep that in mind. With the 85 millimeter lens, I need it to be 19 feet or 5.8 meters away from the model. And of course, this time the camera is lower and I think this looks fairly good and the model looks more heroic. Now, looking at all three images on the screen side by side, you can see that the shot with the 50 millimeter isn't ideal because his head looks a little bit distorted, but things are fine with the 70 and the 85 millimeter lens. But before we move on, I just wanted to let you know that if you enjoy learning from me in these videos, you probably would also like learning from me in person. And soon I'll be teaching workshops in New York, DC, Denver, LA, and right here in my studio in Chicago. So for more information, just go to johngress.com slash workshops. So now as a bonus, let's see what happens when we have the model sit down. And with them a little bit lower, we should need a little bit less distance. So with a 50 millimeter lens, I need it to be 10 feet or three meters away from the model. And once again, the camera needed to be a little bit higher. With the 70 millimeter lens, I need it to be 13 feet or four meters away from the model. And this time I could be lower to the ground. And then with an 85 millimeter, I need it to be 18 feet or 5.5 meters away from the model. And of course, both the 70 and the 85 millimeter look good. Now looking at the three images side by side, you can see that the 50 millimeter isn't the best, but maybe it's not as bad as it was when he was standing up. And of course the 70 and 85 millimeter lenses look just fine. So I think the overall takeaway from this test today is that 70 or 85 millimeters would be a better choice for this type of portrait, but you can get away with a 50 millimeter lens. I remember that when I used to shoot in my apartment's living room, I would use a 24 to 70 and I would try to get it somewhere there between 50 and 70 millimeters. Of course, some of the time I had to go down to 45. So that focal length, of course, is not that ideal, but it will work in a pinch. You just have to make sure that you're sort of monitoring, monitoring things as you're going along and making sure that their heads don't look a little crazy, and if so, you need to get them away from the edge of the frame. Anyway, I hope that all made sense and helped. If you have any questions or comments, just leave those below. And as always, stay safe, have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon.